in considering the problem framing stage, I think it's important to identify criteria for framing your problem. And, and I've got four ideas around that. Number one is that it's got to stem from student learning needs. So then it's got to be, in that respect, authentic, relevant to your work, and worth the investment. Number two, um, I think the team, when they're thinking about the problem, needs to think about what does success look like if they reach their ultimate goal, if they could solve the problem, um, what is that shared vision that the team holds for a successful outcome? And number three, is the problem you're framing something that you can do something about? It's got to be within uh, your scope of control as a team. Is it something that you have influence over? And the fourth criteria around framing a problem that I think is important and this is the most difficult to deal with, is, is it manageable? Is the inquiry that your team wants to investigate, do you have the time and resources available to you to do that? Well, some of the things that occur during that problem framing stage is that uh, teams engage in some open and honest conversations. And that can be difficult if um, you haven't built team norms and established that safe community because it's important in identifying our professional learning needs to really be truthful and honest about what we know and what we don't know as educators. So those open and honest conversations occur and so that's important to establish a safe learning environment. Uh, the other thing that I think is important during that is that we uncover our beliefs what are the reasons that these concerns are important to us? Because we realize in doing so that our beliefs guide our actions. Because in the collaborative inquiry, action is so important. What are the actionable steps we're going to take to solve this problem? If we don't uncover our beliefs, it's really difficult to kind of figure out where our actions are stemming from. And the third thing that I think is um, important in this problem framing stage around the process is that in considering the actions that we're going to take, what are some best practices? And so we might need to look to research. We might need to consult outside experts. Uh, a lot of times the expertise is in the room. So what are some things that my partner teacher uh, has tried that has worked for, for her? Um, what has um, other people in the building tried? So it's the idea of getting to the heart of what we think will work and then trying it.